All around us, nature confirms that change is part to the very rhythm of life. Sometimes it arrives gradually, but sometimes it's abrupt. He got up there and did the angiogram. He said there's an aneurysm on the ascending aorta. For Steve, the news came during a routine physical. And he put the onyx valve in because he said it would last me the rest of my life. Jack simply noticed he was losing energy. I was fading fast. I had a tissue valve eight years ago, and it had, it was failing. For all intents and purposes, I should not be here. Mary Lee went into cardiac arrest and literally woke up one week later. I should be gone. And what saved my life was that valve. Three patients, three stories united only by a revolutionary device that now enables each of them to live a high quality life. The Onyx Mechanical Heart Valve, natural by design. The FDA, after reviewing existing data and the submitted protocol, has determined that a clinical trial of the Onyx valve at reduced anticoagulation levels is reasonable. This is an important trial because it'll be the first FDA trial to explore lower anticoagulation with mechanical heart valves. Dr. John Puskas at Emory will lead a multi-center effort that will follow 1,200 patients over five years. I think that this will bring into balance and perhaps push mechanical valves ahead of biological valves if they can be shown to be truly safe uh, at the lower levels of anticoagulation. During the average life, the heart beats two billion times, opening and closing paper-thin valves as it pushes blood through the rest of the body. If the valves are diseased, they must be replaced and the prosthetic valve that's inserted must mimic the heart valve's original functions as closely as possible. Design features that obstruct flow and cause turbulence that damages blood cells can lead to clotting. The stresses associated with turbulence can be devastating. It has been said that pumping blood is like pumping raw eggs without breaking the yolks. The Onyx valve is natural by design, which dramatically decreases blood turbulence. The near natural length and inlet flare, for example, organize flow and reduce the effects of turbulence. We made an orifice that was long and tapered and, and we found the optimum length of the orifice. That eliminated the kind of turbulence that you would get if you'd used a straight cylinder for the orifice. Onyx valve leaflets opened aligned with flow to prevent downstream turbulence. The leaflets close more quickly than those in older designs, which means less blood is pushed back before the leaflets close, thus reducing regurgitation. We designed uh, the leaflets so that they were thin and they were light and they could float with the flow and not fight the flow and, not, and, not, and produce very little turbulence. The pivot walls feature smooth rounded corners that provide smooth flow, reducing blood destruction and flow stagnation. If you don't have blood free to freely flowing through it, then you can form a stasis and form a clot. And uh, of course, that's a, that's a disaster. On closure, the leaflets contact the valve wall with a soft glancing blow at two points, rather than a direct hit, reducing stress and noise. I very rarely hear this thing. I was very pleased, because I was you know, thinking, well, I'd go in someplace and people would be listening, what's that noise? But uh, nobody ever notices it. It looks beautiful. The natural design represents the sum of what heart valve pioneer Dr. Jack Bocros has learned during his 50-year career. Yeah, it really is. Sparkles like a jewel. Dr. Bocros helped develop the very first carbon mechanical valve in 1967 and has been refining the design ever since. Ten years ago, an engineer and his team made a revolutionary discovery. Pure carbons get rid of the silicon carbide and then optimize the structure to get the, the highest strength material. And we found that and we called it onyx carbon. The new carbon enabled engineers to design a valve that more precisely mimicked the heart's own function. We knew that these pure carbons were at least as thromboresistant as fixed biological tissue. Just as important, the new carbon is much smoother than that used in older bileaflet designs. This microscopic comparison of the onyx and another bileaflet valve illustrates the difference. The smooth onyx surface is on the left, the 
rough surface of the older valve design is on the right. A smoother surface means less blood damage. It was sort of like, you know, you were working on something in the dark and somebody put, turned the lights on so you could see. Dr. Bocro's improvements in manufacturing also resulted in a smoothly contoured pivot with rounded corners that make it easy to eliminate stagnation. The leaflets uh, end up being completely parallel to the bloodstream instead of, as, as in the other two valves, at a slight angle to the bloodstream. Uh, that creates much uh, less turbulence. The drop in turbulence is borne out by the dramatically lower LDH values in patients using the Onyx valve as compared to patients using other contemporary mechanical valves. LDH is a substance released when red blood cells are destroyed. Reduction of LDH levels is significant because it signifies less blood destruction. And I've been quite impressed by the, uh, the flow profile of the Onyx valve. UCLA School of Medicine echocardiographer Dr. Aman Mahajan noticed a dramatic difference in side-by-side -side comparisons. When you put color flow imaging, you see there is much less turbulence across an onyx valve. Even valves which are smaller size, sizes of 19 or 21 millimeters, they have much better flow profile with less turbulence, so you do not see that, that mosaic of colors as the blood flows across the valve. This is an echocardiographic video of the onyx valve. The blues and reds indicate smooth laminar flow and low turbulence. Now look at the video of the other valve. Notice the additional colors. These are concrete evidence of turbulence, which causes blood destruction. The onyx valve truly replicates a normal physiological profile with much less turbulence in the, in the valve area. The unique design of the Onyx valve has led to consideration of reduced anticoagulation studies with positive implications for Onyx patients. The Chief of Cardiovascular Surgery at UCLA, Dr. Hillel Lax, says this may enable him to provide a better set of choices for older patients. Many of our patients who did have valves put in, tissue valves, in their late 60s and early 70s are living to the point where they now have to come in their late 70s or 80s for a reoperation, which is quite a big thing to, to go through at that age. And if we could show that uh, it is safe to use a mechanical valve with low levels of Coumadin or no Coumadin or alternative drugs, then more mechanical valves such as the Onyx valve would be used at a later age. The holy grail for uh, valve implantation has been a valve for life. Dr. Sidney Levitsky is Chief of Professor of Surgery at Harvard Medical School and Chairman of the Data Safety Monitoring Committee for the Onyx Valve Reduced Anticoagulation Clinical Trial. If the Onyx Valve is able to sustain the patient on a low level of anticoagulation, then this valve uh, might be the valve that would allow a patient to have a mechanical valve without the complications of bleeding and only have a valve for their entire life, essentially a valve for life. The prospect of being able to use lower levels of anticoagulation would literally be life-altering for Steve. Fluctuation in his Coumadin levels, which can cause a wide array of debilitating side effects, may be reduced significantly or eliminated. Something I think about all the time. If the blood gets too thick, I'm afraid that I could possibly have a blood clot or anything like that. I never know, you know, if, if something, the Coumadin might not be right, what's gonna happen. From its inception, the MCRI goal was to improve the quality of life for people who need replacement heart valves. We hear from patients all the time the benefits that they perceive that they have from the onyx valve. We have patients unsolicited call us based upon what they know about the onyx valve and want to learn more, and they even make decisions uh, to have the onyx valve based on the information available about it. So it's very rewarding. Those who now live with the onyx valve are among its strongest oh, supporters. Valves work great. I've had no problem with the valve at all. It's quiet. There's no noise at all. My friend and I went to the beach and I was at battling the big storm waves and diving under the waves, and that was less than four weeks later. The Onyx Heart Valve, a valve designed for a lifetime.
For more information about study centers and patient enrollment in the reduced anticoagulation clinical trial of the Onyx prosthetic heart valve, please contact Medical Carbon Research Institute, LLC, at 888-339-8000 in the USA and Canada. Outside the USA, please call 512-339-8000 or email onyx at mcritx.com. Visit the website at www.onyxvalves.com.